Look at me, 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 look at me now. Fuck, are you kidding me? You're my dude. Next is a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence, not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Choi is six years his senior. He is four inches taller. He will have a three-inch reach advantage. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out O2 Arena in London, England. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's really the first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Bam, bam! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi. Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to camp. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Lands a punch. Blocks the shot. Good 
big kick lands. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Come on, buddy, keep your hands up, let's go. Oh, connects with the one-two. Tries the flying knee to no avail. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Head kick there blocked by Choi. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Minutes remain in round one. Going to the body. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Real sneaky head kick gets in there. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. That right hand is on point. Head kick is blocked. Look at him drive his shin into the corner body with that body kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do it. Big head kick. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Just out of range. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Four shots landing on both sides here. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, big punch lands. And plenty of time with which to work. 30 seconds to go on the round. Right hand upstairs. Checks the leg kick. First round winding down here. Nicely done to the body. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, there's the end of the round, and you've got to be in a serious flow to not just execute that Superman punch, but to even attempt it. To even try it, you got to be really in your rhythm. Everything has to be going perfectly, as we saw in the lead-up to that attack. Well, what a round it was. Daniel Cormier, you were one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. I'm not sure you can do a Superman punch like that, though. With my luck, I would try to push off, and my foot would be slippery, <laughs> wet or something. I would fall right into a knee. No, I would not try that. I don't have that ability. I'm not that free inside the octagon. You got to whip this hip into that kick. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be... Oh! Establish that jab once again. 
switching stances here. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Good punch land. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice the size. This guy today is looking at focus bits in his opponent. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Choi. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice leg kick lands. Oh, man. Oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Oh, and he caught the kick. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here. Fantastic timing. For that Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. It's now. He's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. Lands with the ground and pound. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Both fighters back to their feet now. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Ooh, what a punch. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. He's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Beautiful punch. Oh, and that kick is blocked. And they separate. And now he's got the tie clinch. Huge knee lands from in close. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. And I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. Straight punch lands. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Choi gets hit with a kick. Oh, nice. Nice. He throws the right hand there. Come on, man. Let's get that points. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Right hand upstairs. Ten seconds now to go in the round. How good is that right hand? And that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. Third 
round underway. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. that jab. Great punch. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. There might have been a window there. Instead, it is blocked by Choi. Just misses with the straight right. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. And he landed the right hand there. Connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. That strike blocked by Short. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Well, he has really started to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. That's a big strike right there. Very nice leg kick there by Choi. Oh, good kicks. Okay, big liver kick lands under the elbow. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Punch coming, it's blocked. Punch over the top. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, that's a good right hand. Back and forth we go here. Strikes together, beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Beautiful kick. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Choi shot there is blocked. Beautiful leg kick throw. Oh, vintage stuff there. Nice combination of strikes by the Korean Super Bowl. Thirty seconds to go. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. And misses with the right hand. He's loaded up on that right hand, too. Oh, man, his 
leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see as the opponent starts to slow down, you cannot take many of those kicks. So next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Outstanding knee the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so then. Big kick lands. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Unable to connect with the right. One thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Leg, leg. The other hand, now he's hurt. That's one of those shots, and if you take one of them, they can get the night cap when they have the fight on the spot. Nice punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Look at the force behind that leg. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Target. He blocks the punch. Keep your hands up. Use your He's trying to double up on that jab. Big head kick land. Good stick. There's no tell on that leg kick. Superman punches true. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Nice kick. Plus right hand is true. He engages in the single collar tie. Great punch landing with so much power. Nice leg kick. Oh, head kick blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Just over two minutes now to go. Lands with the right hand. Beautiful straight counter. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. And just misses with that big right hand. Big kick lands. Just out of range with that strike. Looking for the counter right now, no good. lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, he's 
hurt bad. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Ten seconds to go in round four. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, that is the end of the round and some definite adversity for him here, or so you would think the cut on the bridge of the nose is only getting worse. And that nose might even be broken at this point in time. So certainly something that bears watching as we enter this next round. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon man. Good run. You don't know when that leg kicks up. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure enough to land. Big leg kick land. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, huge block! Such a big spot. It's broken, I think. Nice kick here. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurting. A finish could come here at any time. Just over three minutes now. To go to the He's out! It's over! It's over! <laughs> Oh, absolutely one for the highlight reel right there. A tremendous kick to spell the end of the night for his opponent, and for him, I should say, but just caught him flush, full force, beautiful extension on the kick, and the fight was really over as soon as that one made contact. I'm not even sure he was conscious when he hit the canvas. Outstanding performance here tonight. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 53 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight. 